for this flower applique you're going to need two different colours of acrylic or yarn uh, I've just used this baby yarn you need some scissors a sewing needle and a stitch marker if you choose to use one it's optional and a three millimeter hook so for round one we start with the yellow yarn and we will do five double crochet in a magic ring In round two, you need to do two double crochet in each stitch around the magic ring. This is also equivalent to five increased stitches. After you've finished round two, you will need to do a slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off and leave a small tail for sewing afterwards. After you've fastened off the yellow yarn, you want to insert the hook back into the slip stitch and then attach the pink yarn into the slip stitch. For the next round, we will be crocheting the petals onto the yellow flower bud. And you do this by doing five half treble crochets into the first stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch. And you want to continue this process around the entire yellow circle.
Once you have reached the end of the round, you just want to fasten off and leave the tail long enough to weave back into the flower. Then the two smaller tails that you're left with, you want to tie them together and then just tuck them away using a crochet hook. With the final tail you want to sew from the back of the flower and pull it through to the front and then you want to sew from the front of the flower and take it to the back. You then want to fasten this together by creating a little loop and pulling through that loop. So that creates a little knot. And then you just want to weave in the ends. And that is your little flower applique all finished. You can use this on any crochet project you make. I ended up using mine on a little bird I was making. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.